Hi everyone, welcome to this month's What's New in Beauty video. If you're new to the channel, in these kinds of videos, I show you makeup that has just launched on the market or things that are about to launch to give you a little sneak peek into upcoming reviews and just to let you know what's coming down the pipeline. I also introduce you to some things that are new to my collection or my experience that may not necessarily be brand new on the market. And in this month's video, we will do something a little different because not only will I go through the regular new beauty and skincare products that I do each month, but in addition, I will show you the things that I hauled personally from the Sephora VIB sale. So if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, then keep watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, click the red subscribe button. I did already contact the winner for the MAC L Seed collection if you are wondering, but stay tuned for upcoming giveaways. I think I'm going to try to do a very big giveaway for the channel hitting 70,000 subscribers, and I'm going to try to have a lot of winners so that you have an increased chance of winning something. So make sure you follow Allure Beauty on Instagram, handles in the description box below. As I always do with these kinds of videos. If I have any coupon codes that I can give you for any products that I show, I will include the links to those products and the corresponding coupon codes in the description box. If you're not interested in some of the things, I will put timestamps in the description box below. So I will tell you where to start if you want to see just the things that have full swatch videos for them. And I will tell you where to start if you want to see things that I've never shown on this channel before. Um, there's also a pretty lengthy version where I talk just about a bunch of different skincare from new skincare brands. And if you're interested more on the Sephora VIB haul, then I'll put a timestamp for that. All right, let's get looking at what is new for May 2019. Let's first start off with some products that I have already done full swatch and review videos for. Also because I am wearing some of those products on my face, so I want you to be able to see what it looks like in real use. So the first one is the MAC Aladdin collection and all of the ones that I've done video videos for. Those videos will be linked in the upper right hand corner for you to click on. So this, I was very impressed by this collection. I enjoyed it very much. On the lids, I am wearing the shade Princess Jasmine here. I also use the bronzing shade to contour and bronze and the highlighting shade on the tops of the cheekbones. On the lips, I used a mixture of two of the lipsticks this lighter nude color, which is called Princess Incognito, and this deeper shade, which is called Raja. And then on top, I applied this lip gloss. It's the deepest shade in Jewels on Jewels. So if you want to know more about the quality of each individual product, make sure you go check out that video. For the rest of the eye look, I used shades from the Moschino Sephora collection for 2019. Again, the entire collection is swatched and reviewed for you up there in the upper right hand corner. Another collection that I was very impressed by and I particularly didn't feel like I was going to be going into it. So that was really nice. So again, if you wanna see lip swatches and everything else reviewed in that collection, go check out that video. Then we have a brand new brand of makeup called Uma Beauty. It is available through Ulta. Please go check out that video. I have kind of mixed feelings. I, long story short, am very excited for this kind of brand with this kind of message being released that seems to really truly support inclusivity for all types of skin tones, ranges, and depths. Uh, I do have some qualms about the formulations of some of the products that I hope will change in the future so that I can 100% be behind the brand, but I do an entire full face from foundation concealer to an eyeshadow look to lips. If you want to see what uh, to check out first and maybe a couple things to avoid, then make sure you go check out that video. I am continuing on my hair journey with The Ordinary's new hair density serum. If you want to start this journey with with me. I will link that in the upper right hand corner for you. And what I'm doing is I am testing this every single day and doing periodic weekly photo check-ins to see whether this is actually an effective product that does something for your hair long term. Of course, I did a full swatch and review video for the Urban Decay Game of Thrones eyeshadow palette. I know it's very divisive and it's always going to be that way when you have such a following on a TV show like this. I think that the quality of the shades is good and I like the colors that have been included, but of course you can check out the swatches to see for yourself what you think. And last in terms of products that I've already done videos for is the new Orgasm collection from NARS for 20, uh, 
19. I think overall I'm kind of disappointed in this collection, but there is a pretty uh, substantial following or support for the products in this collection. So again, go ahead and check out the swatches and my thoughts to see if these are products for you or not. All right, let's move on to things I have never shown you on this channel before. The first thing I wanna mention is from a brand that I have never tried anything from before this point. That is Luscious Cosmetics. They have a very interesting Instagram page and a lot of inter interesting products. They did send along two things uh, for me to check out. The one that I want to share with you is the Angel Eyes Eyeshadow primer and base. I did use this before doing my eye look in this video and what I find very um, unique about this product is unlike most eyeshadow primers that I use which go on clear, this one has more of a concealer consistency or I should say finish not consistency. So there you see it's not a translucent or clear product and it maintains that coverage as you smooth it out. And I guess I'll take it back. It does have more of a concealer-like consistency. It's not as thick as a traditional concealer, but I feel like it's more thick than, let's say, the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer, the $1, $2 one that I use all the time. It does have a slightly thicker feel. It's by no means hard to blend into the eyes or anything, but it does give you a bit of coverage. So if you're someone who has redness around the eyes, typically, or just something that you want to have some coverage for, this is a great option for you to get sort of two things out of one product and it comes in a tube like this. You get 0.33 fluid ounces, which is a very sizable amount. It will take you a long time to get through this tube. We have the latest collection from one of my favorite nail polish brands. This is Zoya, and this is the Barefoot Summer 2019 collection. And as you can see with this first box, it kind of covers the whole range from the nudes all the way to the brighter colors that are more typically seen in the summertime. And you also get a range of cream to shimmery and metallic finishes. The second half of the collection. To me, these even remind me a little bit more of spring with more Easter shades. So that transition from spring to summer reflected in these colors. And again, a mix of cream and glittery finishes. A new product from Fresh that I am so excited about and happy that they sent along. They have two new flavors or scents of their hydrating lip balms that they have released. Perfect for spring and for summer. I tend to think the peach is a little more like spring timey, although that's that's not true. Peaches in the summertime, like Georgia peaches, definitely evokes a summer vibe also. And then they have a sugar lemon one. I have started to use the lemon one first. You guys, it smells dead on like a lemon tart. Um, I know it says lemon meringue, but to me, Oh, it smells like a lemon tart. The peach one also smells beautiful, very like natural peach scent, not a sickly sweet fake peach scent. Oh, these are just, they look pretty. I know that's not something that has exactly to do with the quality, but they look pretty. They smell very nice. They are very hydrating on the lips. So I have been enjoying having this next to my office desk and I look forward to using the peach one too. If you haven't checked out these lip balms, they're only $18 each. You get a lot of product. You get 0.21 ounces or six grams in these. So again, a good amount of product and really, really nice new scents. In last month's What's New in Beauty video, I showcased a product that I had or a brand I'd never tried before called Undone Beauty. They have a water tint bronzer that I really like and I've used several times since that video. They also sent along the light on lip light reflecting lip boosting color. They have several of these shades. The shade that they sent along to me is called Sorbet Pink. So it comes in a tube like this. It's actually a, it, I didn't wear it in this video because it really doesn't go with the rest of the look, but it is a very like girly, pinkish pink shade and it also has a lot of silver shimmer. So here you can get a sense of the color up close. 
the much more girly shade and this really does have a very hydrating feel to it. It feels more like a lip balm than a lipstick. So if you are someone who wants something that is shimmery and hydrating, this is a good option to check out. All right, now some bath and body items. Let's start with something that I think will be very relevant to people and it is a set of insect repellent items from Avon. Now, this is a product that I have actually used many, many times before. I still have some of um, it in a bottle. And so this is something I know works. I like it very much. The beautiful thing about this product is A, it's affordable because it's from Avon. B, it has sun protection. It has an SPF of 30. And C, it has an insect repellent in it. So this is a fantastic, reliable product that I will take on me when I'm going outdoors on a hike or for my camping trips or for my climbing trips because it covers three things at once that I need, moisturization, uh, insect repellent, and an SPF. So this is a fantastic product to check out. These definitely smell nice. They don't have a super insect repellent-y scent because they've covered it with a different scent. But then Avon was also kind enough to send along some of their other products in the same line that I haven't been able to try out uh, before they sent them. So one of them I still haven't tried. This is the insect repellent, but it's in a spray. So this also has SPF. It has a great scent, the same scent that's in the uh, bottle of lotion, and it has insect repellent. So again, you are getting both the sun protection and the spray bottle. They give you the spray and nozzle for this product. I am not going to put that together until I'm actually ready to use it. Oh, and the other thing about the one that comes in the green bottle, it is water resistant, so that's great. Then they have more of like an aerosol spray one, uh, but the same thing, it has an insect repellent. This one doesn't have the SPF component. It's more of the bug repellent. This one says it is a strong repellent against not only mosquitoes, which I hate, and I get allergic reactions to mosquito bites, they love to bite me and mine like really swell up. So I try to protect myself as much as possible, but this also protects against deer ticks, which if you aren't familiar, um, are known to be carriers of Lyme disease. So it's really important to have protection against those too. This one doesn't say that it protects against uh, ticks. It does say it is protecting against mosquitoes. And I believe the lotion is also for mosquitoes. And another product that they sent along in the line is something that is really nice to have for travel. So let's say you are going on a trip on an airline and you can't bring something like this, like an aerosol can. These are really nice because these are individual use towelettes. Now, of course, that's not as environmentally friendly, but if you're just doing it once in a while when you're going on a trip, that's kind of the give and take. Um, but again, these are effective not only against mosquitoes, but also against deer ticks. So you get a packet of eight, and yes, they are individually wrapped so that you can just take one or two of them if you are anticipating needing them on your trip. All of these are formulated with vitamin E to help nourish the skin, and the lotion also has aloe in it. Next up are a few things that Tokyo Milk sent me. Now, if you aren't familiar with Tokyo Milk, they are more known for their fragrance line. I have, I think, two, maybe three. I know I have at least two full-size bottles. They are available through Sephora, and when they first launched on Sephora, I was kind of obsessed with their perfume line and looking at which perfumes I think I would like best. So I have two full-size bottles in my medicine cabinet, but they also have a range of other kinds of items. I don't know if this is a recent expansion or if I'm just realizing that they have these other kinds of items. So let's go through based on the uh, trio or the set that they sent me. The item in this first container is a perfume. It's the Le Petit uh, fragrance. It says Lily Peony Vanilla Beans and Violet Petals comes in a smaller bottle like this, which is actually more suitable. I should invest in more small size perfumes because I just have a cabinet full of perfumes and I just can't use them all at the rate that I would need to to be able to get out of them what they cost and the price that I paid. But this is what the perfume bottle looks like. Very beautiful. They tend to have more I don't know what the word is, maybe more exotic and unique fragrances I found in the Tokyo Milk line. So this one is kind of warm. It has hints of maybe that floral scent, but it has a predominantly kind of warm, sensual note to it. And in the same fragrance, they also have this Bonbon Shea Butter Lotion. Comes in 
the container like this. And this is actually a kind of metal feeling squeeze tube, if that makes sense. It has that same warm, rich kind of fragrance and tone to it without being sticky or heavy on the skin. And last, they have a candle with this scent. And interestingly, I feel like the candle, I haven't burned it yet, so maybe it'll change, but from first nose in the product, it has actually a kind of lighter, uh, a little bit more refreshing. I don't know if refreshing is the word, but it's not as deep and warm. It's a little more light in the candle. So that will be very interesting to try out. And then Kors sent along a few products also. Now I have tried several of Kors uh, shower gels and I love the scents that they offer in their line. This is one that I've actually not tried from the, tried from the Kors line and I'm a little surprised because I love lavender. That's one of my favorite scents. This is the Sea Lavender Shower Gel. And this is actually kind of a sweeter lavender scent, which I don't know if I have anything else in my line of bath products that is more on the sweet side for lavender. It's not something super sugary at all. It's actually very refreshing, a very refreshing lavender as opposed to more of like a calming lavender, if that makes sense. So I am very excited to put this in my shower and use it up. And then two items, one of which is a classic in the Kors line and one of which I think is uh, in a new set or coupling of items that have been released. So let's start with this one first. This is the Wild Rose Makeup Melter Cleansing Oil. And I think they have a moisturizer, maybe one other product in this Wild Rose line that they've released. But I requested the cleansing oil because I am trying to do maybe not really a double cleanse method, but I am trying to avoid more using makeup wipes to remove my eye makeup because they tend to tug and pull and be more rough on the eye area. So I'm trying to use cleansing balms and oils to break down the makeup for my eye in the eye area before I actually clean my face in the sink. So that was why I was curious about this product. It's also really beautiful. Look at the rose petals that are in the bottle there. And all those oils are very effective at breaking down the eye makeup, especially waterproof eye make, in a much more gentle manner than manually or physically trying to rub off the uh, mascara or whatnot on your eyes with a makeup removing towel. And this product, which I mentioned already, is one of the classic long-standing products in Kors line. This is the Greek yogurt foaming cream cleanser. It does have a very creamy um, texture to it and it is very nice and effective for that second step if you're doing something like a double cleanse. Next is something from a purse and accessories subscription company. I've never seen one of these quite like this before. This company is called Bolzano and like I said they run a subscription service where you get a purse and an accessory. You can go uh, each month. I think the subscription is $33.99 or $95 a month if you do a monthly subscription. If you do a yearly subscription, the per month price goes down um, and then they have quarterly and seasonal subscriptions. So all the way from something like $34 to $300 and something dollars if you do the yearly subscription. But in any case, you take a survey and you kind of tell them what your style is, what kind of purses and accessories you are looking for. And then based on your preferences and your responses, they will send you something that suits your style each month. And they've been kind enough to offer something for my viewers, which is if you sign up for the subscription, you will get an additional free gift with your subscription. I will put that in the link below. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's just a gift to you guys. And they are described as luxury handbags. They do have leather options, but they also have nylon and vegan leather options, which is really nice. The purse that I received based on my responses is this. It's kind of a gray. It looks almost a little bit kind of baby blue on the screen but in person it's pretty much a kind of medium to light gray. It has a silver handle or strap and silver accents and it's more on the small to medium size which is what I would prefer. It has a couple of different compartments inside including a zippered compartment and inside I also found this set of jewelry. So on this side we have a necklace with dual rings. And on this side, we have a matching set of earrings. 
And last before we go to my Sephora VIB haul is a bunch of skincare. And I've been really excited and have been enjoying doing more skincare videos. My journey in the beauty community mm, uh, actually started with an interest in skincare, not makeup. So I'm kind of going back to more of my roots and what I've always been really passionate about. Not that I don't like uh, makeup, but I have been getting a lot of different skincare companies reaching out to me recently, which I really, really like. So so let's go into what I've gotten this month. First up, Lancer reached out to me and I looked through their offerings and the two products I was most impressed by are these two. Let's start with this one. This is the Advanced C Radiance Treatment. It has not only vitamin C, but also collagen. They have not only visually beautiful, but also fantastic packaging for keeping the ingredients away from sun exposure. And when you open it up, they have pump dispensers too. Again, great for maintaining the integrity and effectiveness of the ingredients inside and also to help you get all of the product and actually use all of it up. So this uh, product comes in this packaging, but let's look at the ingredients. The second ingredient is ascorbic acid. So again, vitamin C has a very long line of research proving that it helps with uh, things like pigmentation, the uh, improving of brightness of the skin. You also have retinol in this product. You do have a little bit of lavender oil that ends up being the second to last ingredient. So there isn't a lot of it in here, but that is pretty much the only knock against this specific product that I have from Lancer. It is otherwise a beautifully formulated product. The texture on this is incredible. It's like a, it's a, not, it's kind of a gel, but it also has a dimethicone feel. So that silicone feel. So if you're not someone who likes that, then you probably won't like this product, but I love it because I'm getting that vitamin C but I'm also getting this mattifying effect. So this is a product that I use in the daytime. And of course I put sunscreen on top of it like I do every single day, no matter what products I'm using. But that kind of mattified, blurred, smoothing finish makes this product a favorite of mine because you're not only getting that effective skincare, but you're also getting kind of a cosmetic effect as a primer or just a mattifier and smoother on the skin. And the next product, which comes in the exact same package, this is called the retexturizing treatment. Now this has 10% glycolic acid in it. Glycolic acid is a very effective a chemical exfoliant for the skin. Again, helping with those wrinkles and fine lines, helping to smooth out and even the texture and appearance of your skin. And this is a product that I use more at the nighttime. It is very lightweight. Again, you have a beautifully formulated and textured gel formula. It's very lightweight. So perfect for someone like me who has more oily combination skin. If you have very dry skin, you probably will not get enough nourishment out of this specific formula. You could always layer something on top, but again, it sinks into the skin like absolutely nothing. It doesn't leave a sheen or a shine or a film. The second ingredient after water is glycolic acid. So you're getting a very good amount and effective amount in here. But on top of that, you also get some antioxidants, which is just a bonus. You have squalene, another great skincare ingredient. You also get retinol palmitate and you get a scorbal palmitate in there. Um, again, you do have the second to last ingredient being that lavender oil. That's really the only knock on these skincare products that I have with Lancer, but otherwise very, very effective um, with a strong serving of very strong anti-aging ingredients in these products. They are having a 15% off site wide. You don't need a coupon code for it. That sale runs May 23rd. So pretty soon through June 2nd. Again, I will put a link in the description box to where that sale is happening if that's something that you're interested in. Lancer products do run on the more expensive side, so it is nice to get that extra discount if you're interested in buying any of these products. The next brand is BioClarity. And what's different about this brand is it's more of a plant-derived or like plant-based skincare brand. So they sent over this trio, kind of one, two, and three steps in your skincare routine. The first product they sent along is a cleanser. It is called the Keeping It Clean Cleanser. And what is unique about this cleanser is that it has a clear gel formula. So that's really nice. And I like that in particular for my oily combination skin. Then we have this product called the Flora Lux, and this has superfood uh, antioxidant ingredients. So specifically this has a chlorophyll. It also has niacinamide. It also
also does have witch hazel, which makes me not use this every single day. So I'll use this maybe two times a week, but you have a licorice root extract, you have squalene, and you get a squeeze tube and a pump, which is really cool. Look at that. It comes out. I've never seen a skincare product like this. It's so cool. Comes out as this kind of very uh, natural green or like Kermit the Frog green color. And it has a gel formula. Now, there is a slight green tint when you, uh, even when you blend this in. Once you blend it all the way, you can't really see it but you may, depending on your skin tone, be able to see a slight green tint. So this is something that I would recommend you use at nighttime when you don't really care about that. So the gel formula sinks into the skin really nicely. Again, something that I love for my oily combination skin because gels tend to be lighter on the skin. They aren't as heavy as a cream or a lotion, but this one is pretty nourishing. So I feel like even if you had dry skin, there's something about the texture of this formula that seems to really moisturize the skin, even though it's not a cream. And then this product is the treat uh, step. It is the complexion perfection product and it has 2% salicylic acid in it. Salicylic acid is used to treat acne, but also in the ingredients is glycerin. There's oat kernel extract to help soothe the skin. There's lactic acid, there's squalene. So not just your salicylic acid treatment, it has other skin uh, beneficial ingredients in there. And this also also has a formula that is a gel like that and again smooths over the skin like effortlessly and sinks into the skin. Something that I don't know if I've ever seen a salicylic acid uh, treatment product that has this kind of formula, but it's great because people battling with acne oftentimes are also battling things like oiliness, greasiness, and you just don't like putting on top of all of that another cream that adds to that heaviness. So very lightweight, sinks into the skin, invisible. Next up is a product from Skin Medica. They have a lot of great offerings in their line. The specific product that was sent along is the retinol complex. And as you also probably know, retinol is one of the best anti-aging ingredients that you can get your hands on. This product actually is purchased through a website called EDC Skincare. It's a site that has a lot of different skincare brands that you can purchase. So it's not just one specific brand's website where you can only buy that brand's products. So they offer a lot of different higher end brands that are at a discount because they run kind of promos through the website. Like if you buy, you know, 85, dollars worth of product you can get it some percentage off things like that but anyway this product is great not only because it has retinol in it but it also has moisturizing ingredients and nourishing ingredients like soybean oil glycerin it has niacinamide it has a squalene it has ceramides in it it has a ton of great nourishing anti-aging antioxidant type of ingredients in here so this is really a powerhouse uh, product all around and once again, it comes in a pump dispenser that is completely opaque so that it is completely protected from sun exposure. The cream looks like this and it has a super lightweight texture. It's a little more nourishing and moisturizing than the retexturizing treatment from Blancer, but it's by no means a heavy uh, or greasy product. Again, if you have super dry skin, probably not nourishing enough, but definitely will give you the amount of nourishment you need and moisturization you need if you're anything from even slightly dry, normal to oily skin. Then a few things from the company Babo Botanicals, which I had never heard of before they reached out. So I was very excited to get to see. They have a lot of, uh, offerings for people with very sensitive skin. They have a lot of baby products that of course you can use as an adult, doesn't mean you have to be a baby to use them. Um, but here are the three things that I picked out based on the ingredients and the benefits that they would offer. This first huge bottle, pump bottle, is the Sensitive Baby Fragrance Free Shampoo and Wash. So if you're someone who suffers from eczema, if you have truly sensitive skin that just is irritated by a lot of things, this is a wonderful product because it not only is fragrance free, but it has natural oatmeal, which is known as a soothing agent, shea and coconut butter, and it has a tear-free formula. So great for a baby, great for anyone with sensitive skin. The other product that I tried out is the Daily Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. This has an SPF of 40 and the active ingredients for the sun protection are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. There have been some studies that have come out that have kind of made us start thinking about what the absorption of the sunblock ingredients is and whether those sunblock ingredients are safe. 
Titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are, I believe, uh, deemed by the FDA to be safe ingredients, but the other sunblock ingredients that we often see, like avobenzone and things like that, they are absorbed into the bloodstream, that's what the studies have showed, and we don't really know yet how safe they are, what effects they have on the body once they're absorbed into the bloodstream. So I am definitely going to keep an eye out on that for my own health and consumer protection kind of things like that, but I am happy to be able to have a product like this where I know that the two uh, ingredients that are going to protect my skin from the sun are known to be safe. The inactive ingredients in here are things like aloe, shea butter, green green tea leaf extract, so wonderful nourishing antioxidants, glycerin, there's no fragrance in here, there's avocado oil. So again, good for sensitive skin. It has a texture that is not thick. It's not like your beach uh, sunblock that you take out. It also doesn't really have a white cast, which is great, even though it is a true mineral sunscreen and it doesn't have a tint that's been added, it doesn't seem to leave any sort of white cast. So it does sink into the skin. It has a beautifully elegant formula that doesn't leave a whole bunch of shininess or greasiness like a lot of your sunscreens will. So this is nice, not only for sensitive skin, but also works very nicely under makeup. And the last thing is one of their lip tints. This is an SPF of 15 in Plum Rose. So this is something that I think I would just put in my car to kind of just up the ante for sunblock. But what's nice about it is it also has a very nice tint to it. And the last skincare company that I want to focus on is called Zen Med. And when Zen Med reached out to me and I looked at their website, I, to be very frank, was a little bit overwhelmed because there were so many different things that I wanted to try. When I would look at the ingredients and the formulations, I was like, I wanna try this and this and this and this and this. They are a company that has great, great skincare that they offer. But not only that, their products are very reasonably priced. This first product here is the Skin Protecting Lotion SPF 30, and this has 20% zinc oxide. So once again, a uh, FDA labeled safe ingredient for effective sun blocking. But on top of that, you have aloe leaf juice, you have added vitamin C, which is great. And you have things like hyaluronic acid, cucumber extract, green tea extract, vitamin E. So again, not just sun protection, not just effective safe sun protection, but on top of that, you are having active skincare with these antioxidants. So you're getting uh, two things at once done. Now this formula is a little thicker than the one that I showed you from Babo. It goes in with a little bit more of a white cast to it, but once you rub it into the skin, it sinks in nicely and it doesn't really have that white cast that you typically think of with a sun block that you like to take to the beach. So this one is more nourishing. It's a little thicker than the other one that I showed you. So if you're someone who has drier skin, I think this is definitely a formula that you would prefer because it is more creamy and uh, has more of like a moisturizing effect. But again, you can see it doesn't have a, like a greasy, cast to it or anything like that. So something you have to work into the skin a little bit more, but also has a lot of benefits in the formula. All right, let's move on to these bottles. And again, I had a hard time choosing because there are so many great offerings, but let's start with this Skin Correct Plus. Uh, this has 2% hydroquinone, quinone, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it is a uh, ingredient that has a lot of scientific studies and backing to show that it helps to very effectively reduce things like sunspots or hyperpigmentation. Then we have the B5 Hyaluronic Plumping Serum. This has, as the name would suggest, hyaluronic acid in it. It also has B5. It has seaweed extract and caffeine and coenzyme Q10 and green tea leaf extract. So again, a nice mixture of things, not just the hyaluronic acid or the vitamin B5. And the third one here is the L-ascorbic booster. So as the name again suggests, it has that ascorbic acid or that vitamin C. On top of that, it has aloe vera, it has vitamin B5, it has hyaluronic acid. These are all things that you can, if you have a moisturizer that you love, you can put a few drops into there to add or boost 
the uh, moisturizer you already use or something like with the L-ascorbic booster. Sometimes I will put a few drops in my hand and kind of pat it in and use it almost like I would a toner and kind of use that as my first step before I add a moisturizer on top. All right, finally, my VIB haul. So when I purchase things through the VIB sales, I almost always concentrate more on skincare just because I purchase makeup and receive makeup so much because of this channel. So my haul is going to be predominantly skincare. Uh, one of the things that I picked up is this Drunk Elephant kit. The Drunk Elephant kits are almost always a fantastic value. In this one, I have like three or four kits now um, in my uh, closet that I need to be using up. But this one has the polypeptide cream. It has the retinol, kind of new retinol cream. It does have the Umbra Tint uh, SPF, which I'm not super interested in, but that's okay. Uh, the C Firm A Day Serum and the TLC Glycolic Night Serum. And they are in, most of them are in smaller sizes, but like I said, even when you work out the price per ounce, it is a good, good deal. A full size product from Drunk Elephant that was not included in that kit and that I don't have a backup of, that I absolutely love, so I want to buy a backup of, is the TLC um, Baby Facial product. This is a very potent glycolic acid based or AHA based product. It also has 2% BHA, which is great. And this also has a little mini of the virgin marula oil, which is great. So again, a very expensive product, but super effective. And if I can get it at a discount, I'm going to do that. I bought a few of the Inky List products. If you did not see my comparison where I go through every single product offered by the Inky List and break down the ingredients, the benefits and the uh, not so beneficial things in some of those. And I also compare them where they can be compared to uh, the ordinary. If you haven't checked out that video, I will link it in the upper right hand corner. Make sure you go check that out. Uh, I think it's very, very helpful. But based on my own review that I did, um, I purchased these three products, the Turmeric Face Moisturizer, the Caffeine Eye Cream, and the Multibiotic Face Moisturizer. Those are the ones that I was most interested in that I thought were the most unique and the most worth their money. But of course, I also bought a bunch of things from The Ordinary. I actually bought four uh, products. I think most of these are new. Uh, I bought the Reservatrol 3% plus Ferulic Acid 3%. Looks like this. Purchased the Ascorbyl Glucoside Solution 12%. Almost exactly the same. I purchased the Agriraline. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Solution 10%. And finally, I purchased the amino acids plus B5, which looks like this. I bought this lotion by IT Cosmetics. This is the Confidence in a Gel Lotion. And the reason I purchased it was because of the gel formula and based on the ingredients. You get 2.5 fluid ounces and a pump dispenser. So I'll be very interested to see how I like the texture and the finish of this. And last is something that I purchased from Super Goop. This is the Shimmer Shade Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30 Eye uh, Color. This is a very unique product. It comes, I think, in three different shades. It is an eye cream. It comes, it looks like a paint pot, basically, and it comes with SPF in it. We very rarely put SPF on the mobile lid. Um, for good reason. Sometimes it can come into the eyes and sting them, but I wanted to uh, purchase the lightest shade so that I could use it kind of like a base. If I didn't want to wear this shade alone, I could have something a little neutral and not too deep to basically put SPF <laughs> sun protection on my mobile lid, but it is beautiful because you can also use it alone um, as its own eye color. And they have two other deeper shades. I think one's brown and I forget what the other one is, but um, this is a very unique product. I don't think, I don't know of any other brand that has done this. So I am very excited to start to put this in my regular routine and uh, see how it works. All right, that was a marathon, but um, I'm very excited to be showing you these kinds of new products. And in particular, I'm really excited about the new skincare that I've been able to test out. If you're still here at the end of the video, thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed. And if you can give it a thumbs up, if you have a couple seconds, thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.